Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about gold as we are heading into the weekend. Uh, I think we need to make a change to the chart. I mean, it didn't invalidate our current setup, but I already highlighted to you that we might need to focus on a deeper wave too. Yeah? Basically, at the moment on the chart, we have a 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two setup. Um, but I'm not convinced anymore. I mean, we've got a 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two, and potential 1-2 setup. Um, and it's just too many one twos and it hasn't really gone yet. And I think it seems like that the market wants to give us a deeper retracement in wave two. That's my current assumption based on how this developed now in recent days. If I also look at the silver chart, it seems like silver comes down once more. I explained that in yesterday's video. And, you know, nothing has been invalidated. But first of all, this move up was not impulsive, only a diagonal. It's pulled back quite deeply and I think the, the spot chart already broke below. So I'm going to take out this. We're going to make a few changes to the chart. It uh, doesn't change the bullish perspective. As I said to you in the last videos, in, in, you know, in doubt, I would always lean bullish when we talk about the metals charts. It has a simple reason. I've been analyzing these charts for many, many years and I know how quickly they can go when they go. And I would hate to, um, you know, to have been too careful. I'd rather be stopped out and then reposition lower. That's just how I strategically would approach the market. Every market I would approach differently. Um, that's just quite unique for the metals market. Now, I would say this keeps it very simple. We can count all of this as a larger wave one and that gives us plenty of space to work with. Uh, I'm going to take that previous trend reversal area out that we had and let's just do that measure what would it be if we really get a deeper wave two? where could we be heading and then we also add a microstructure um, it doesn't mean we have to go down much lower right but it is basically just what i explained to you before that if this one two one two starts to get unlikely we have to look for a deeper wave two, not bearish just a deeper wave two, still in an overall bullish scenario but the 17 18 level is the relevant bullish support if that breaks that's it. So at the moment, we, we might not even go down much lower, I have to say, okay. Um, but for me, it makes sense to count this as a deeper wave too. So we don't have to go much lower. I mean, looking at it now, this then was probably the A wave. There is a chance that this was a B wave and we come down in a C. So and it might just be that in this C wave, we just get one more low. Yeah, um, we can add a microstructure and in the C wave, we could say, right, one, two, three, four, and maybe just one more low closer to 1852. So it remains my view that we haven't got a confirmation of a low in place yet. Um, here we just retraced a bit too much and that's why I'm in favor of this scenario. Also a leading diagonal coupled with a high B wave never works well. So we just, I think this works better. Um, I've added the 38.2 FIB level here just to highlight, okay, this is the next FIB level that we could react to. But really, I mean, that's 1907. We already had support here. But really, if we get one more low, it seems likely we might get we might get to the 50% FIB level at 1852. Now, we can also measure this with Fibonacci extensions. If we say the length of that A wave here, compare it to the length of the C wave, the very first relevant target, sometimes um, this is actually reached, is the 61.8 extension at $1,900. It is quite, I mean, say sometimes, you know, this is the short C wave scenario, but the C wave would typically be a bit longer. So below that, I would pay attention to 1850 and 1830. So I will, I will keep you updated. Again, is the moment I still don't really have confirmation that a low is in place, but essentially, what you need to understand in the gold market and the metals markets generally, these corrections can be very, very much drawn out, very boring, very slow throughout 2022 and three, <clears throat> so towards the end of 2022 and 2023, <clears throat> sorry, we've been focused on higher. I think this has been absolutely the right decision if you look at what gold has done. And now it just is sort of like the next pullback, which might be a bit deeper than initially thought. Uh, before we start that third wave rally. I'm still of the view that this move down is corrective. 
if anything changes, I will let you know. So far, uh, I haven't got confirmation that of the recent low, a lasting low is in place. So I'm still watching at lower short term, but I will pay attention to the relevant levels indicated. I will keep you updated, but this essentially could just be a wave four with a wave five to come. I will observe that next week very, very closely. Might be that we make a bit of a change here still, um, depending on what happens next week. But overall, um, I would still look at lower here at the moment. Yeah, I will make you aware as soon as we have some kind of a five wave structure of a low, that would be the first indication that a low is in. Bear in mind the next move up, and that's also why I don't want to miss it. I'm rather leaning bullish and just track the microstructures to understand when we have a low in place, because the next, the next wave could be a third wave. I mean, again, if we say from the current lows, what would be a target for the third wave? But we will go probably go a little bit lower, but targeting, I mean, round about $2,500, $2,600. So it is pretty attractive, okay? So yeah, that's why um, we are focusing here currently on this as a wave two correction. But I keep you updated if anything changes. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.